Welcome back everybody. Farming Simulator 17 here on Oregon Spring 17. Woohoo! Your host with not the most. <sighs> How y'all doing today folks? This this is what we're gonna concentrate on first. It's this my pickup truck. Why? Well, we are up here going to the market. Which we're just about here. So I hope y'all are doing okay. I am doing quite peachy myself. Lemon squeezy, right? Folks, when I was doing this, I was taking a mine of a semi truck, so. But we're not coming up here to buy anything. We're actually coming up here to pick up some. Because I bought this last episode, and uh, I was letting John up here at the massive massive motors to uh, take care of a few things on this for us and he even took the privilege of filling it up with fertilizer almost a thousand liters wait no <laughs> almost ten thousand liters my bad thank you John but we are fixing to hightail it back to the farm because we are out of fertilizer uh, farm to no storage farm, and we're gonna go first waypoint, and we gotta find that waypoint. And trust me, for, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, let's go to the nearest. There we go. Drive course. Oh, always gotta go past that first or uh, main, mainly second wave course there little points on the thing but anyway um we'll let that get back to here we got one little spot right over there you can see and uh the corner up here knockout and we'll be uh have its feel fertilized but we're gonna start right here folks we well or should i say i went and had uh john to bring out the header it's supposed to be kind of for this combine. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it don't have the wheels. Hmm, double axle or drive shaft. That's not good. Anyway, yeah. The Udden was a 12 point something other, 12.3. Where this is, well, let me just go to the store real quick and show you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, right there. And we're going to zoom all the way over here to the end. Of course, everything's always all the way on the end. And let's see here. This is one we got now. It's a 9.1. And this other one we had, I think, was. It had to be this one. This one right here, 12.1. So 9.1 to a 12.1, big difference. And I also found the McDonald's. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to get them later. 60000 for the 35 foot. Probably have to get a bigger combine, too. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Because, uh, folks, farming does not stop. Does not stop at all. Uh, as you can see on the growth fair, we're ready to harvest all the way across. So uh, that's going to be canola, corn, and barley. So we got a chance to get some more straw. So let's get this party started, shall we? This header even looks a little bit better. All right. Hopefully that's on the right side. Yeah, it looks like he's doing pretty good. We're going over here. Let's see, who do we want next? Let's let's get the case going. Shall we? Uh oh. Or flatbed supping. That's not good. That's not good. Let's 
Let's check out our. Oh. Okay. Uh, stop driver. Let's uh, close that out. We're just going to have to drive on down here ourselves. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. That'll give that kind of buying time to get around anyway. And yeah, I'm driving all the road again, ain't I? Now we're going to get cutting some uh, trees and stuff because uh, we're going to need some more money here, folks. Or we can sell our soybeans. I think we got time to sell our soybeans. All right, we are. No, we don't have the option to overload. Okay. Uh, close that out. I'm going to shut that off. Hop in here real quick. Even though I did hop in the wrong side. Uh, refill. There we go. Um, oh, yeah. I did buy a water spout. Put it in the system. And uh, put it right here. So we can take care of chickens up here so yeah um here's our soybeans let me get these other combines started real quick that one should be down for another oh i hope i don't hit the tree oh, oh ooh, i hit the sign on Field detection. Going over here, get the Massey started. And trying to see who it got in the first one. Okay, we got Max Sand in the first one, and we got Jamie in the second one. And who should we have in the third one? We get started in the barley, but barley's going to really wear us out because it's. Well, Y'all know how it is. Now I'm going to get rid of that box and put this back on. I'm going to move it up to the top. Uh, 13, 24%. There uh, should be enough distance there. All right, let's get in our 8RT. And let's go catch a combine down here. Now, with that being canola, whoop. There we go. This tractor's loud. I probably turn down the volume here. Now the AI workers work good on oblong fields like this. They really do. Uh oh. I don't know if I can go through there. Tell you what, I'm going to wait right here for the others. Back up this a little bit. We need to find out where our soybeans going to be. Ooh, God. Man for a week, but oh yeah, we had that last episode, didn't we? Uh, let's see here. We fourteen forty-eight. That's the highest place, and that's going up. Blue line feeds. 
I think I got a course for that. I'm not for sure. Alright, they should be alright for a little bit. Maybe we find our semi. Okay, let's see what we got. Transport here. Grain to blue line seeds. Hi. Ah. Well, we need to do the other truck. Actually, need to do both trucks. I want to close that out. One, control L, start engine first. But of course, and keep about 25 on the distance there. We'll go up, and we're going to actually do this course. On the transport, come on. Grain uh, to blue line seeds. Okay. Now let's just go on, drive on up here. There we go. All right, who we got? We got Mr. Yankee following me. All right. But we're gonna need these trucks here pretty soon. I guess I need to get on the highway. You know, I bet you I went that way a whole lot faster. Nah, I need to go on up here and let the course play do it. Oh my god, I need to watch where I'm going. And who's there? Uh, it's Maxine. Hey, Maxine. And I got a chicken to train. All right. I'm gonna hit drive course. And I hit it right on the nail. Uh. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Stop driver. Close. Got two combined courses. How did I do that? Green to blue line seeds. There we go. Got a course. Although that, that looked like it was pretty tempting, didn't it? It'll bring me back up to the shop. He's following it, so I shouldn't have no problem, hopefully. I want to hop in this and catch a ride. Alright, control F. Um, range of blue line seeds. I want to drive course, stop at the last. Now yeah, I forgot to hit stop at the last on this one. There we go. And one more. Oh. Come on, son. Took off. Wow. And they're full. Where they at? Where they at? Oh my god, that one done went all the way around. It's got a bigger tank though, just massy up, so that's one that's Oh no the axle flow is cool. What Okay, well I got to get them the map the axle flow first. So folks, what, what's what's up with everybody, huh? Y'all been doing all right? I hope so. I have. I know I probably don't ask y'all that. Oh, I hate that times. Uh, I'm gonna do screenshot right there. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, that's going on. Come on, Massey Ferguson. Get your pipe out. Or should I say Jamie? And Colin Julian. Alright. Now, which one's which? I have no idea. Colin Julian's in the Massey Ferguson. Okay. And Jamie's in the, the Axe Flow. And. Makes sense down there on the far end. Mm. Which is this about to be full? I'll go this way. And our trucks. Just about to be down there. They are there. Okay, well. I catch a John Deere combine real quick. It's not going to take very long to knock this canola out. I just hope we can get it on this episode. There's our trailer trucks. The corn really don't look ready. Let me see it. I'm getting the hang of this pretty Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the difference, folks. Look at the difference. Okay. Um, let's go to this one. We're going to stop driver. Oh, my God. There's no way I can get both of them up at the same time. Um, clear that out. Pose that out. Alright folks, my goal is to get both trucks on this ramp. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I knew he would do that. I knew he was going to do that. Stop driver. Clear out. Because what I'm going to do is hop out of one and hop into the other. And uh, have both of them dumping at the same time. Oh, easy, easy. About right there. Now I got to get... Why do I always go to the wrong side of the truck to get in? Y'all ever notice that? Well, folks, March is going to be out before you know it. It's probably going to be out when I record this. Um, today's the 27th when I'm recording it, so I can't remember what day it's going to be posted. Oh, oh, crap. All oh, the combines are blocked, too. Unstick. Oh, almost had it. Yeah, it seems like every time I get hung up by something. This one's going to take longer, so I'm going to do him first, and hop into this one, and undo him. Oh, I, I love it, I love it, I love it. Right, I'm going to hop back. 
Alright, and this one. No courses loaded. Uh, blue line seeds. Whoa, folks, 200 out, 210, 215, keep going, keep going. Oh, no, no. 233,711 dollars on the harvest income. All right, drive course. Whoa, whoa. Is it going to take it or is it going to wait? Get out of here, little ways. There we go. And uh, do the same thing for this one. Top of glass. Oh, where's my? Okay, gotta get to the tractors real quick. Um, that one's there. The John Deere is fine. Just the axle flow and the massive first. In the job here. Which, if I wouldn't know no better, I'd say I would, uh. But we're almost out of time. We've got 22 minutes. And look here, all in separate corners. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that'll work. Let's see. Uh, uh, hoses. And semi trucks, number four. Okay, so this one's one that's in the head. And farm shops right up there, okay. So no biggie. It's almost there. Uh one's behind me. So I want to Stop driver. I'll go ahead and drive this in myself. Or sell a load of wheat down there. Oh, I'm getting money hungry now. I need to sell the wheat. I mean, keep the wheat for the, the uh, animals. Uh, hopefully that this one will hold all the barley, or not barley, canola. All right, pull off the. I don't know why I feel that some kind of lip or something there. Let's let the other truck go. Let's see if I get to my. both of them oh the massive person there I go down here 
what I'm going to do is probably stop the combine, the John Deere, if I can get to the end. Uh, Colin Julian's got a full green tank. Perfect timing. And I would have to mess up that turning, didn't I? Oh, yeah. See, I wouldn't be able to do that with the other hand. Not at one bit. Alright, I'm going to let him go ahead and do its thing. Okay, let's do it on that. And what we do? 95%. We're gonna go ahead and go dump. They got enough to make it back down this end, so I'm not gonna worry about them. I'm 95% full, so I could have used a little bit more. And I can't remember if it's the big trailer or the little trailer, so. Alright, coming in for a landing. Don't make me mess up. Alright, that looks good right there. Now this combine does not have a corn header, and I'm not going about to get one. So we're going to go over and start in the bark, and uh, let those two do what they can do best. And let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch the road. Watch the road. Oh, I can't see. 59 and 60%, so it explodes almost. Come on, come on. This thing don't even have beacons. My bad. You know, it's turning a flasher on. Somehow, truck went up in there apart. <laughs> Glad there ain't no traffic coming. Alrighty. We're going to pull off and park right here. We'll kill our flashers and our motor. Oh. See, actually, clothes got more in it. But I'm pretty sure. He's going to go the other way. And to pay off for a loan, folks, I'm thinking about after the harvest. Go ahead and trade all the combines in. What do y'all think about that? That way, I'm, I want to get some new up to date ones. Don't hit the truck. Ooh, I thought I hit the truck. So this one's out of fuel almost anyway, it's only got 100 liters left. Letting them make it. Why so slow? So I say I can harvest faster than that. Yeah, I think uh, this gentleman, a YouTuber, and I'll say his name here in the next couple of videos. Um, we're, uh, well, when I get everything harvested, we're going to 
switch the season mod on this one. And uh, when we go into the next harvest, we're going to probably have, probably lease them and try them, but we're going to have a new combine. And uh, I'm not going to say what right yet. Y'all just have to wait for the surprise. There'll be a couple of videos for now. But uh, this YouTuber uh, released the, the thing. It's new edit stuff. Um, so I, I can't remember all the details right yet. But it'll be in this video. So uh, y'all have that to look forward to. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot bigger than this combine. So we'll probably end up getting two or three of them at least three probably at a time to get through the crop but uh, look forward to season mod on this but we got one more harvest video probably before we go into seasons well I guess I'm dumping the grain buggy we'll just hope this truck holds all We got 8,000 left on this. Alright. Yep, that one's empty. So, what I was actually thinking about doing though is taking this one. And putting it on the uh, uh, one of the corn heads. Actually, I'll probably put it on the, the case on the corn. And just have a truck for it to dump in. While well, these two here are going to be doing the barley. All right, and I would have to bail out. All right, that's done emptying. Yeah, we'll probably change the header on this, folks. But let me go ahead and empty this out real quick. I'm still ready to dump. this guy off the road here and I want to just want to show y'all what we got off the canola let's see the tractor's done so we got 75,111 liters off of that woohoo so good to go all right folks that's going to wrap it up we're going to uh Turn our flashers on here and our beacons. We're going to go change this header out to the corn header and um, yeah, go from there. Oh, I'm going to, ooh, right, that sign was invisible. I think this is the one I had to let the header down on. Yep, because of that right there. I'm going to get rid of that tree. All right. But I appreciate all y'all's comment and love and stuff. And thank you for uh, spending your evening or whatever it is to y'all. Uh, I just love each and every one of y'all folks. Without y'all, uh, this would be very, very, very boring. And I probably wouldn't do it. I probably wouldn't have kept up by now. But anyway, like I always say, Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. And I would have to change it. Yeah, I'm gonna change it out. Anyway, folks, y'all have a great one. I will see y'all later, okay?